<laughs> okay, no issue. So, guys, uh, before starting, I really wanted to share one good link with you, all of you. So, few minutes back, I had a uh, call with one guy. Right. Uh, no issue. No issue. Uh, no pressure. Just chill. Right. So, we are not here to, you know, uh, make anyone feel shy or something like that. So, that's totally okay. So, uh. I was talking to one of guy. He was very good with uh, you know doing SDR thing in B two B, and he was uh, he's running his own community. He have more than five hundred SDRs a in his community, and they are doing really good. So he has shared a great path of learnings that how if anyone wanted, because I as per my knowledge, all of us who is here uh, is trying to build a uh, uh, career in SaaS sales, right? So he have prepared an entire list of uh, activity which you have to do to start your career in SaaS sales, and that's I'm going to put in chat. Uh, let's start with that. If there's any query on that, I'll I'll also explain that what you have to do and how you have to do it. So just give me a moment, right? Meanwhile, if you have any query, just please put it in a chat. So I'll go by one by one, and that chat will help you all. Yeah. So this is an entire of great learning framework right how to crack sas and this is very much important and this uh, this video which i just got completed with that guy will be live very soon but before that you are getting this very first and that's why when i you know look at this entire end to end roadmap i felt that i should share with all of you so this is what i wanted to you know cover this entire in this particular call so if you see here the learning framework the first thing you have to learn learn about the saas and b2c b2b sales right this is what you have to learn and this all you will learn from my videos or maybe some other way of learning you know uh, or you can also uh, google or something like that one more thing which you can easily learn uh, there's a one feature of google i don't know if you know or not that's called google alert right uh, my screen is visible to all of you right yep google alert right and this is how i also learn right the moment you type google alert right this is the first link which is coming up right here you can type words maybe whatever word you wanted to learn related to anything so if you see i have added artificial intelligence automation in lost tech b2b sales building material courier digital marketing indian courier all this if you see SaaS sales, SaaS sales tools, software as a service, all those stuff I have already read. So if you wanted to add anything, let's say I wanted to know SaaS startups India. I'll create an alert, right? I can edit it. I can also type how often I want once in a day, right? Source, what source I want. So basically what's what's going to happen? This particular word SaaS startup in India, Google will find out that how many times in what news or maybe blogs or where this word has occurred in last twenty four hours, and that is that that but Google going to compile all those those chart and it's going to send me in my mail like this. Uh, so if you can see here, so all those news which I needed are. Uh, is my in is in my inbox right so i don't have to go and search for new new news or something like that right so this is how you can learn from google alert and that's the one of the best tool which google have and this is how i also learn from uh, you know for SaaS sales because it's hard to keep a track it's hard to go again and again and search for SaaS sales or something like that right so first things learn about SaaS and b2b sales right then sales glows uh, you know glossary buildings abhi this is what happening whenever you are going to learn saas sales right you also have to understand that what exactly happening in saas right or uh, what some, some some if you guys have any query please feel free to raise hand or maybe you know stop me in between and ask the query questions right okay uh so you you can you know build a uh, different kind of relation meet people have a word that what exactly happening in in saas the way i am talking to you you can ask that what exactly happening in industry how we connect how we meet uh, how i know other people from industry all those stuff and then 
that's give you real example of what's happening inside right then learning about the product about the company whom we uh, like you are going to apply or maybe where you are going to find out uh, the job is available all those stuff you have to learn about their product right and then i identify identifying the icp now the icp that means ideal client profiling where you have to understand that yes this is what uh, clients style look like for any product and then database building which you have to build then account research messaging uh, outreach uh, respiratory and ev testing so this is a very good way of learning the entire of right and then you have to learn the saas sales tools understanding the quota linkedin personal branding uh, all those stuff so it's basically you you are getting a structured questions structured steps to learn and what exactly you can do in terms of you know uh, going ahead in saas sales so yeah this is really cool and really good yeah guys please uh, now you can shoot up with your queries whatever you wanted to ask the resource you have shared is like it applies to people who are building saas also like yeah, yeah any sales so see uh, if you are building any saas product right uh, it's it's important that at what stage you are right so whether it's a uh, uh, are you at uh, idea stage or you are at mvp stage or you are at market fit stage right that depends and the stages has been if stages are different steps will be different but starting a sales always will be same right if you are selling a idea that will will also work same if you are selling a mvp that also will be same so yeah no like for idea uh, right now i i was working with a project mm-hmm. so they have given us uh, so what we came up with was lms with mm-hmm. ai enabled features mm-hmm. so this is a more of a b2b product like it would be we will be selling it to universities or uh, big education companies like an ac- an academy or something mm-hmm. so so how do we validate like if if someone is building something in saas so how do we validate our ideas you said you said that ki we can also sell our ideas okay so i i uh, just for all of your uh, you know knowledge i have successfully failed three times with my ideas right so so i have tried three times to build a good saas product but i have failed successfully and that's that's was successful because i haven't made any loss any penny there was zero financial loss because i was always sure that i'm not putting my hard earned money in any idea where i'm not getting returns right so whenever you are getting ideas first of all understand that your idea is not going to grow because we always believe that our idea is super this is best this is going to blow the you know it's just like our kid we love our kid right but the people not going to love our kid the way we do right so what you have to do the moment you get the idea don't start building product stop it there just set on your idea try to find out who else are doing it right if there are any people who are doing it that means that idea is validated right that idea is already validated if anyone running a cab that means there is a need of cab right and that's why people are running cab now the second thing if there is someone who is doing it at what scale that person is doing it is it very crowded area or is very less crowded area if it's very crowded area then you should go for something else if it's less crowded area then you should definitely go for it the second option will be if no one is doing it then you have to figure out that why no one is doing it whether it is too hard to do it or no one have noticed it if anyone haven't noticed it that means something you have you know come up with good idea the way oyo came up with the hotel idea you know the way people came up with the idea right some innovation happened but it is very hard very very hard but yeah again the moment you get that idea is validated uh, people are doing it there is a scope then build a website uh, either build a website or a, run a mail campaign right don't build a product so far you are not building product you are not started building product right you started a sending a mails you started doing cold emailing you started sending you know maybe you can build a website and ask people to book demo at least 
so you will understand that people really wanted to get your uh, product or not the moment they will book demo by giving their email id or by giving their phone number or by giving their something right just present them a ppt 10 slided ppt make a ppt good ppt uh, and then ask for some uh, reference maybe some uh, waiting amount of 200 of 250 or something like that and this is how you can validate your idea so far you are not building any product but you are just testing that people really wanted your product or not let me give you uh, one uh, one example so there's one lady who is uh, going to start a solution software solution but she yet not launched her product but still she is ready with the website and all and she is just collecting email ids for waiting list that's all and this is the way you should uh, get the market tested before launching a product thank you thank you very yeah <laughs> hope uh, it's it's making sense. If if you are yeah. not agreeing with my words, you can also come up with your argument. I'm open for that. Well, actually, I've tried the other way: launch mm -hmm. and fail. Mm -hmm. So I know like how important this is. Yeah. So when you launch and fail, that's you know it's it 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 will take your heart, soul, everything you know, because you have already built something and then you are too attached with that. Because idea does not take too much to you know just rethink again yeah. but product takes too much to you know rebuild again yeah yeah okay uh anyone else have any any query guys come on let's be a communication <laughs> group i'm not here to do monologue that i do in videos <laughs> yeah i i wanted to understand so See, I have, as I told you, right, every SaaS company has a minimum criteria of two years into B2B SaaS, mm -hmm. right? So then which is that company which accepts fresher? Okay. Or uh, how how does this SaaS journey start for a person who is from B2C at tech and then now I'm into B2B at tech? So mm -hmm. how do I uh, do my transition and which is the most efficient way to get into SaaS? Okay, so Madhu, first of all, uh, it's not two years mandate uh, uh, SaaS sales experience or B two B sales experience, right? Why it's uh, you 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 are not coming up with any any companies who are not uh, hiring less than two years. Uh, they don't want you to work in a B two B SaaS for two years. They want you to bring knowledge and process understanding of people who have worked in B two B two for two years, right? Uh, SaaS. So what happened when you started in your in B2B SaaS, you at least need six months to one year to understand tools, solutions, jargons, which these people use, right? Just example of MRR, ARR, right? Uh, all these jargons, which these people are using, how sales uh, force you get used, what is CRM, all those stuff. These kind of knowledge they want, right? I have hired people from EdTech and they are fresher. Uh, they are really working good now, right? They are. I, I, I also face issues, but now they are really performing well. So all these people really want good candidate with the good kind of commitment. So the biggest problem with EdTech people and why people are not, you know, want to hire EdTech people because they are, they are very, very, you know, uh, they don't want to commit anything to be very honest right they they are very uh, they 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 are afraid of commitment right so any company who is hiring and giving you 60k 70k 80k thousand salary in a month right and they know that you are not going to make sales for at least 3 to 4 months right that means they are giving you 4 to 3 3 to 4 lakh in a just free way to give you training and all and after 5 and 6 months you will like i don't want to work here or i want to leave right that's what makes them afraid of hiring a people who is not from at tech oh sorry who is not from b2b SaaS sales right the first this is what you can find companies who are hiring freshers or who are hiring non SaaS sales background people on linkedin uh go for uh, a few days back i shared a 50 uh, companies list i guess i don't know if you was there in that community at that time or not but few days back i shared i will reshare that link again where I have shared 50 companies list 
who is hi uh, who are hiring freshers and you can apply there with my reference uh second try to uh, uh i'll i'll share that list again in group i guess uh, once again uh second try to learn as much as possible i have shared this learning you know graph just try to learn as much as possible learn all jargons the way people are working the way what is the mindset you know try to connect people on linkedin uh, try to follow their content and most important please start building your uh, you know brand on linkedin start putting out content start writing something share something which you have learned new new in saas sales you know share anything so if you watch like the easiest way which you can do it watch any of my video right learn anything and just convert it into 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 writing and put it out don't give give me any credit nothing but start putting out content on linkedin cause whenever any ha any any hr or someone going on your linkedin profile they should see that you are active on learning and that makes you different from other people cause everyone doing same right everyone coming with the same background they are saying same same way of cv or all those stuff right so you have to be something different from all those people to get hired so yeah i'll share that list again in group uh, just give me a moment i guess awesome yes. thanks thanks a lot pratik and also in terms of the tools or uh, softwares uh, can you suggest any uh, five uh, tools that would be very useful if we know any kind of tools or softwares that we need to know like sure. for example a friend told me that uh, there's a um, lead generator called as apollo.ai mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay and then we have the linkedin sales navigator so he suggested few of these like so can you suggest any a uh, top 5 uh, tools or tricks that you need to uh, be aware of to before getting into saas yeah yeah for sure uh, just give me a moment i'm sharing that list once again in a group okay so recently i have shared a video right where i have shared uh, what tools i use but just for all of your see these are the few extension which is very very which important right most of the comp uh, people in saas sales use only these tools only right so this is the first apollo.ai uh, sorry io uh, in this there are multiple things which you can do so if you can see here in this apollo. io i can find out anyone's email id uh, number phone number right and not just that i can also do the email sequencing right so you can see here all these emails are going automated i i have just sequenced it and this this apollo.io is finding out the email id by themselves they are you know putting out emails in a sequence and they are sending emails and get demos are getting booked all those stuff are happening automated basis so this is one of my favorite tool which i use apollo.ai uh, apollo.io right uh, then after uh, this lavender is also there right lavender for again writing mails and you'll get the ranking of your mails that how good it is what it is all those stuff is there right then lusha lusha is for finding a uh, number and email id from linkedin which is like apollo and then super normal which i use this is for whatever uh, your meeting i'll do it gets recorded and then it's give me the scrap of all those right and then web scraper only few people use it web scraper so basically in this whenever i'm going on any website and i need to scrap the entire excel from that particular website uh, i scrap it so yeah so this is the mostly you know tools which get used and then again the most important crm so either whether it's a you know pipe drive or maybe hubspot or something like that so yeah awesome thanks thanks a lot pradeep thanks a lot uh prashant elijah here once again yeah elijah tell me so how should i begin like you know my journey i mean i know bits and pieces i'm mm -hmm. thinking of doing the certifications as well so mm -hmm. i in one of your video i have seen that you have mentioned four websites okay four places to learn about saas which had certifications as well and the fourth option was your video youtube channel so i said let's go with the youtube channel first and then you know check the other websites where i can do some certifications 
after that what should be my next step if i may ask like you know uh okay so you want me to tell you that how you can build your career in saas sales or what yeah uh, yeah in saas sales but then you know i'm thinking of you know trying for a higher designation that you know um uh, account success manager position so i have to reach that i do not want to be in sales for a long time so mm-hmm. yeah because i I've, i've been doing sales from past i think 5 years Mm-hmm. so I've, i've been doing lead generations i've been doing sales as well mm-hmm. so so one step higher is is what i am looking for and that's why i want to do certifications here and there and things like that mm-hmm. uh eliza to be very honest in sales uh none of certification going to help you okay correct uh, so why i'm saying that cause sales is not a theoretical job all right uh, it's 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 a pure practical job it's all about numbers right if you're not performing you're not giving numbers no one going to give you anything in return right so if i have you know uh, if i am the head of business growth in just 7 years of my career because i have performed and i have overperformed again and again and this is why i if i will not perform next 2 months 3 months 5 months or maybe one year no one going to know me right you are you all are uh, listening me because i am doing something good if i am not doing something good then no one like I'll, it will be totally bullshit gyan right so Correct. that's the number one second uh uh see certification only helps you to understand the basics all right uh, the basics of any any process the basics of any any structural uh, uh, corporate or something like that right so if if i whenever anyone ask me that do they go for my course which i have launched i always say no cause i said i'll just clear your basic first and then go for my course right and this is what i always mean so go for basic clearation and even certification uh, i'm not sure that what kind of certification you should go but yeah i'll always say that there are multiple uh, if you wanted to go jump directly at a higher level higher level as in you know head of business growth or maybe head of something or head of any any position uh, you can go for mba or maybe you can go for pzdm or you can go for some kind of you know diploma for one year in sales or maybe in other uh, marketing or something like that that might help you cause that gives you good understanding so yeah this is this is how we can take it forward okay yeah but here and there courses will not help you that if you are going for career jump that course not going to help you that course can only help you to understand basics so yeah okay okay got it got it yeah Well, hats off to you. Literally, like you know, see on a serious level or on a serious note. I mean, you are really doing a good job. So <laughs> it was very yeah, interesting, so and yeah, I, I just you know, I just like for an hour or two, like you know, I was just scrolling and seeing your videos. So you explained it in a very nice way, and it was really fun. Thanks. So boring nahi hua tha. Main wahi koshish karta hu ki boring na ho, kyunki ek to ye jab. सेल्स इट सेल्फ नेगेटिव थॉट फॉर लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल आज कोई भी कॉलेज में जाके पूछ लो आपके क्या बनना है किसी को सेल्स में नहीं आना है एंड दैट्स दैट्स अ बिगेस्ट चैलेंज कॉज सेल्स में इतना कुछ हो रहा होता है कंपनी सेल्स पे चल रही होती है लोग सेल्स पे चल रहे होते हैं इंडस्ट्री सेल्स पे चल रही है पर सेल्स में किसी को नहीं आना है तो दैट्स अ सैडेस्ट पार्ट इन इंडिया ट्रू या नेश ओके सो एनीवन हैव सार्थक हैव कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई गेस या सार्थक yeah pradeep वैसे तो i can boil all the questions down to only one thing that i am looking for so i have started uh, reaching out to uh, cold prospects because it's a new product i tried i tr- explored all the options ki plg we can do ads we can run but i'm like nahi first 10 customers to even to identify whether it's a good product or not i need to get them through cold outreach only mm-hmm. so uh, i was reaching out to people through communities on slack but uh, i have noticed that uh, different ways of reaching out first is i go and i show them ki we are offering a free giveaway here sign up the form no one responds to that mm-hmm. so if i go them telling that i need a feedback on a project and i want to listen to their problems then people usually they come on a video call and mm-hmm. then that uh, that becomes like a uh, next step and all but mm-hmm. uh, there's something i'm struggling with how do you 
what is the best way of doing cold call you know do you what is the product there? product is a, a software for uh, managing every need that an agency has like from crm plus document creation e sign all that mm-hmm. so it's a, it's a business package for agencies okay and whom you are targeting i'm targeting agency founders for small agencies and uh, CROs finance folks for larger agencies who actually use the software and how are you figuring out that ki inhi ko target karna hai wo kaise kar rahe ho aap i look at a competitor and i see what ads they are running who are they targeting in the ads mm-hmm. so sort of reverse engineer at that mm-hmm. otherwise uh, i just take kept a hypothesis ki for small startups will be founder for big startups will be operational people and then i just me get got on call and i asked them who uses who is the end user mm-hmm. and who is the decision maker and then i got the validation immediately so artak aadha to kaam apne ekdam sahi kiya hua hai theek hai so main bhi yahi karta if i am launching a product i'll go to my competitors i'll see who are the clients right unke kaun kaun se clients hai and then i'll uh-huh. go to their clients uh, pocs point of contact and i'll ask them that uh, hey i'm uh, it's not just like i'm selling or something hey i'm just uh, building a new product which is similar to what this company is doing right i want to understand that is there any problem area which you are facing right now all right let's have a discussion on that or this is the one way or hey i'm uh, trying to understand how this industry works right and what other tools you are using can you help me to understand what is your pain area so i can help you with some solution all right and third which is very much important hey we are building a solution where we need people like you from the industry who is you know who who is expert we want your expertise and we need your uh, you know 30 minutes to understand what exactly happening in industry so basically when you are putting giving some sub gyan dena chahte hain uh let them feel they are the gyani yes right let them feel they are the gyani and you are just need us and try to figure out agar koi linkedin pe halka sa bhi active hai na jo comment kar raha hai like kar raha hai ya repost kar raha hai something like kyunki content to create bahut kam log karte hain linkedin pe koi like kar raha hai comment kar raha hai ya reshare bhi kar raha hai na try to tap those people cause they those people wanted to do it but they are not able to do it and wow. they will you know get into this and you will get the your first 10 20 people and then figure out ki unko kya problem aa raha hai and that pain area will be your selling point so yeah this is how i i will do if agar main rehta aapki jagah pe to yes maybe i'm trying along something along that line only matlab broadly way kar raha hu but wo script i'm not sure exactly maine sahi kara hai ki nahi kyunki wo it's not very focused abhi because every client i see ki ha ye bahut acha prospect hai nahi 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 डोंट डू इट लाइक सब अच्छा प्रोस्पेक्ट नहीं होता वही मैं बोल रहा था कि ट्राई टू फिगर आउट ये एकदम नीच पे आप देखो लिंगडिन पे भी कौन ज्यादा एक्टिव है एंड हुज मेकिंग मोर यू नो लाइक इंगेज कर रहा है ट्राई टू पिच दैम जैसे ही आप उनको पिच करोगे ना दे विल लाइक की हाँ ट्राई करते क्योंकि दे आर ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड देयर रेपो बट दे आर नॉट एबल टू एंड दैट्स वेयर यू कैन यू नो कम इन एंड यू कैन मेक दम फील की इफ रिक्वायर्ड जस्ट आज फॉर यू नो लाइक बिकम आवर podcast guest or something like that or some jo bhi hai aise karke aap kar lo they will like to come unko ha skin feeding type kuch better mil jaye to express correct correct that is a good observation i say because uh, i didn't love now it makes sense to do that yeah yeah <laughs> mostly i have reached out to people who actually make content also matlab wo ceo type hota hai and wo newsletter usne recently start kara hai hmm. that uh, i give them a compliment on their content then they get happy wo response dete hain Mm-hmm. you know acha laga content work kar raha because uske zyada followers adoption initially nahi hota it first 2 3 months mm-hmm. so they are quite happy and then then when i asked them for a call this only ki you know you are an expert in the industry want to know more matlab it's not like maine saw logon ke sath kare just one person abhi abhi i was working on it so then i see that you know the response is not there i maybe should follow up i think because that think uh, there's a one more thing you know thoda sa wo इंडिया में सबसे बड़ा इश्यू है कि लोगों को लगता है कि बहुत छोटे से फेम के साथ वो उनके अंदर वो ईगो आ जाता है ठीक है सब okay. मेरे जैसे डाउन टू अर्थ नहीं होते हैं 
नहीं मतलब वो होता है कि आप थोड़ा सा उनको तारीफ कर दोगे तो वो थोड़ा सा ईगो में आ जाते हैं वो रिप्लाई करना बंद कर देते हैं नॉल सो सॉरी उतना भी नहीं जाना है आपको इट जस्ट लाइक ही दिस अ वेरी थिन लाइन राइट यू डोंट हैव टू लुक स्मॉल इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम राइट बट यू ऑल्सो हैव टू मेक देम रियलाइज कि यू आर बिग एंड दे आर ऑल्सो बिग एंड दैट्स वाई यू वॉन्ट देअर एक्सपर्टीज टू मेक योर सेल्फ यू नो तो वो थोड़ा सा होता है तो जैसे मैं किसी से बात करता हूँ तो मैं बोलता हूँ मैं नाम लेके बात कर रहा होता हूँ या कुछ भी है तो उनमें को मुझे पता है कि मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ मैं किस लेवल पे हूँ मेरा डेजिनेशन क्या है तो मैं उसका एसेंस भी नहीं खोलने देता हूँ एंड मैं उसको छोटा भी नहीं फील करवाता हूँ सो वो एक बैलेंस हाँ तो वो थोड़ा सा बैलेंस करना चाहता है वेन यू फील वेन यू आर गेटिंग अम्पॉर्टेंस फ्रॉम इम्पॉर्टेंट पीपल ना दैट मेक्स यू मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट सो दैट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट so many important things so yeah yes aur kya puchna hai shayad tak aapko batao aur to mera actually dusre on slack mein message jaise script sab live hai agar feedback mil jata to it would be good but if you don't want to do it then also it's fine uh i'll suggest you to send me uh, personally ek bar aap bhej dena mujhe theek hai uh you have my like everyone have my whatsapp number okay. right so aap mujhe bhej dena i'll send you the feedback don't worry feedback to late hoga but i'll definitely send you sure sure right Or, what uh, is this extension you said crystal uh, crystal knows this is a very interesting linkedin extension okay acha linkedin extension so i am so, chrome extension for linkedin profiles yeah oh acha so i am like apollo is fair enough to do all the stuff right अब तो मुझे एक्सटेंशन की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है अपोलो इज वेरी गुड उसमें नॉट ओनली आपको प्रोफाइल्स आते हैं ईमेल सीक्वेंसिंग प्ले सारा कुछ बन जाता है तो इट्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल उन लोगों ने अपना काइंड ऑफ कैलेंडर लिंक लॉन्च कर दिया कैलेंडी की तरह दे आर ऑल्सो लॉन्चिंग देयर सी आर एम सो दैट्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल तो वंस यू यूज समथिंग लाइक अपोलो तो सेल्स पर्सन का मेन स्किल या पावर कहाँ रहता लाइक नो उसका वैल्यू कहाँ रहता है पंच तेरे सब अपोलो ओके मैं दिखाता हूँ कहाँ रहता है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अपोलो को डिस्कवर मैंने किया था मतलब मैंने अपना ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में ठीक है सेकंड ये जो इतने सारे मेल सिक्वेंसिंग दिख रहे हैं ठीक है ये चार अभी इतने सारे ये एक्टिव है और ये मैं रिसेंटली किया है लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस राइट इसमें मैंने इतने सारे मेल्स ए बी टेस्टिंग कर रखे दैट्स कॉल ए बी टेस्टिंग राइट इतने सारे मेल्स मैंने लिख रखे हैं ओके ए बी टेस्टिंग एज इन यू आर सीइंग कि कौन से मेल पर रिप्लाई आता है हां किस पे आएगा किस पे सो इफ यू सी हियर इस पे इसका ओपन परसेंटेज 33% है नीचे वाले का 23 25% है बट इस पे रिप्लाई वन है इस पे ज्यादा है ठीक है सो दिस ऑल कॉल ए बी टेस्टिंग एंड ऑल राइट इफ यू सी सो so, ये सारे मेल्स लिखना किस पे क्या मेल जाएगा किस सीक्वेंस पे जाएगा किस टाइम पे जाएगा दैट्स ऑल सो बेसिकली आई एम रिमूविंग माय मसल वर्क टू माय ब्रेन वर्क सो दिस इज व्हाट सेल्स पर्सन नीड टू डू सो जो भी ईमेल मार्केटिंग है दैट इज आल्सो सेम थिंग एज दिस व्हाट यू आर डूइंग हियर कोल्ड ईमेलिंग इज ऑलवेज पार्ट ऑफ सेल्स सो दिस इज आल्सो कोल्ड ईमेलिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ मी सेंडिंग 101 101 मेल मैंने उसको ऑटोमेट कर दिया पूरा का पूरा तो मैं एक दिन में जहाँ पे 200 या 100 मेल भेज पाता था अब मैं 800 मेल भेज रहा हूँ वो भी सेम एक्यूरेसी सेम पर्सनलाइजेशन के साथ और एक और मेरा मेन फॉलो अप क्वेश्चन इसी के टूवर्ड्स था कि लेट्स से आई बिल्ड अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट नाउ व्हाट आर द बेस्ट वेज फॉर मी टू गेट द फर्स्ट टेन फिफ्टी कस्टमर ई मेल या फिर लिंक या फिर कम्यूनिटीज नो वॉट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कम्युनिटीज डज नॉट गिव यू गुड नंबर ऑफ लीड्स कभी नहीं देगा ठीक है कम्युनिटीज आपको वार्म लीड देगा अगर एक भी लीड आया वो अच्छा लीड होगा वो क्लोज होगा ठीक है बट ज्यादा लीड आपको नहीं मिलने वाला वहां पे क्योंकि आप वहां पे सीधे जाके बेचो 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 नहीं कर सकते दैट्स कम्युनिटी राइट वो बहुत लोग आपको समझ जाएंगे कि बेच नहीं आया है ठीक है सो नो वन गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू आफ्टर दैट तो so, मैं बहुत सारी कम्युनिटी में पर मैं किसी भी कम्युनिटी में ऐसे सीधे बेच से वो बेचो नहीं कर रहा होता हूँ ठीक है आ, तो कम्युनिटी से तो पहले सेल्स नहीं आने वाली आपका सेल्स जो फर्स्ट अगर आप थर्टी फोर्टी जो भी क्लाइंट ऑनबोर्ड करने वाले हो दैट विल कम फ्रॉम योर पर्सनल रेफरेंस और कोल्ड कॉलिंग जब पहले पाँच छ क्लाइंट के नाम आ जाएंगे आपके पास तब ई से मेल 
क्लाइंट आना स्टार्ट होगा क्योंकि ईमेल से वही लोग आएंगे जिनको नाम दिखेगा ब्रांड दिखेगा तो दिस इज हाउ सर्क वर्क सो पहला आपको रेफरेंस से ही आएगा देन कोल्ड कॉलिंग से आएगा नेक्स्ट फाइव सिक्स देन ई मेल से आएगा एंड देन उसके बाद जब आप बहुत अच्छे खासे नाम रख लोगे मतलब क्लाइंट्स ऑनबोर्ड हो जाएंगे देन आपके गूगल एस काम कर एस काम करने लगेगा कम्युनिटी काम करने लगेगी वो तो सारी चीजें होने लगेगी आप किसी को जानते हो जो किसी कंपनी में काम हाँ. करता है वो कंपनी आपका क्लाइंट बन सकता है so, हाँ. हाँ. या, ओके. और इसके लिए भी वॉर्म लीड से आ सकता है अगर कोई कम्युनिटी पे थोड़ा टाइम स्पेंड कराओ तो बट आई आई सी मैं एक बार बताऊ ना आपने को आप hmm. आपकी फैमिली है ठीक है uh. अच्छी खासी फैमिली है आपकी ठीक है uh. अब आपके फैमिली में आप क्या चाहोगे कि आप एक ऐसा लत से आपके फैमिली में किसी को एक फोन चाहिए ठीक है uh. तो आप क्या चाहोगे कि आप अच्छा खासा ब्रांडेड फोन लेके आओ या चांदनी चौक में जाके पांच हजार वाला फोन लेके आके दे दो वॉट यू विल फील आई विल गो फॉर ब्रांडेड फोन करेक्ट दिस इज हाउ कम्युनिटी वर्क सो यू डोंट वॉन्टेड टू डू समथिंग जो हाफ बेग्ड है अच्छे से नहीं बना हुआ है आपका प्रोडक्ट अभी तक रेडी नहीं है सॉफ्टवेयर नहीं बना हुआ है क्योंकि एक बार कम्युनिटी में अगर आपने खराब कर दिया तो वो खराब हो गया ब्लॉक हो गया वो खत्म हो गया वो वापस नहीं बनने वाला वो रेपो नहीं बनने वाला है और वो वापस में लोग पूछेंगे पूछेंगे कि कैसा था सार्थक का प्रोडक्ट तूने यूज किया हुआ था तो वो बोल देगा कि बहुत गंदा था मुझे ऐसा प्रॉब्लम आया था तो भले ही आपका प्रोडक्ट कितना अच्छा बन जाए फिर भी आपसे लोग नहीं लेने वाले क्योंकि कम्युनिटी ने बोल दिया कि अच्छा नहीं था उस समय सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंड सो कम्युनिटी पे तभी आप जाओ जब यू हैव वेल बिग सोल्यूशन या गुड हो चुका है बग्स खत्म हो चुके हैं दो थोड़ा स्टेबल्ड है दो चार क्लाइंट आ चुके हैं सो या और अगर यूएस में सेल करना है तो फिर कोल्ड कॉलिंग इज अवे कोल्ड ईमेलिंग मेलिंग हाँ कोल्ड कॉलिंग कोल्ड ईमेलिंग या वो क्या आपने कुछ नोटिस करा है कॉल्स बेटर वर्क करता है कि ईमेल्स विथ यूएस में कंसेंट बेटर वर्क करता है वेदर इट्स अ मेल और कॉल ठीक है जैसे okay. इंडिया में इंडिया में कभी भी किसी को भी कॉल कर दो ठीक है हाँ. कोई भी मेल्स आए जा रहे हैं ठीक है यूएस ऐसे नहीं होता है दे आर वेरी वेरी सेंसिटिव विद द डेटा प्राइवेसी ऑल दो स्टफ ठीक है सो यू कैन नॉट कॉल एनी रैंडम पीपल एनी रैंडम वे ठीक है तो उसके लिए कॉल्स होते हैं जिन्होंने डी एन डी लगा रखा है उन पर कॉल्स नहीं जाता है मेल्स में भी उनको अनसब्सक्राइब बटन चाहिए होता है सो इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू क्रैक मार्केट यू एस बट इफ यू कैन क्रैक इट यू गेट गुड नंबर ऑफ मनी सो या हम लोग यूएस जाना चाहते हैं जैसे ही हम लोगों ने यूएस जाने का सोचा की अब हम यूएस में सोल्यूशन बेचना स्टार्ट करेंगे वी स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग यूएस के प्रोफेशनल कॉन आवर पॉडकास्ट ठीक है सो अभी रिसेंटली हमने एक पॉडकास्ट uh, लॉन्च किया है जहाँ पे सिकागो uh, का सेल्स हेड था उसको मैं लेके आया अपने पॉडकास्ट पे उससे बात किया ठीक है सो वी स्टार्टेड प्रतीक सेल्स चैनल और डिफरेंट नहीं नहीं सो so, ट्रैको जहाँ पे मैं बिजनेस हेड वहाँ ट्रैको का उसका अलग है तो वहाँ पे हम लोगों ने uh, हमारा वहाँ का भी मार्केटिंग मैं देखता हूँ तो वहाँ पे उसके पॉडकास्ट पे मैं यू uh, के लोगों को लाना स्टार्ट कर दिया क्योंकि आई वॉन्टेड टू बिल्ड अ रोमा की वी आर दीज का पीपल आर देर तो क्या होगा कि अब जब भी कोई सर्च करेगा वहाँ के यूएस के रिलेटेड टू लॉजिस्टिक सोल्यूशन हमारा यूट्यूब चैनल आएगा एंड दैट्स बिकम आवर लीड फनल फॉर आवर कंपनी सो वो डिफरेंट तरीके से आपको सोचना पड़ेगा थोड़ा सा डिपेंडिंग ऑन अ डिफरेंट सो इफ यू सी यूएस के जैसे हब स्पॉट है या आप कुछ और देख लो तो हब स्पॉट ने इतने सारे कोर्स निकाल रखे हैं या अपोलो देख लो अपोलो पे अपोलो के लेंडिन पे इतने सारे कंटेंट क्रिएटर है जो अपोलो के बारे में सिर्फ लिख रहे होते हैं ठीक है चाहे लेवेंडर है ऑल दिस पीपल सो या क्योंकि उनको पता है कि लीड निकालने का कुछ तो तरीका होना चाहिए सो ये सारी चीजें है सो दिस टाइप के ब्लॉग्स और फ्री काइंड ऑफ 
बट सर्विसेज के आई सीन पीपल जस्ट गो इन सम फेसबुक ग्रुप और वहां से क्लाइंट टूल ले ले मार्केटिंग एजेंसी है या कोई फ्रीलांसर है दे जॉइन सम ग्रुप ऐसे फेसबुक का एंड देन फ्रॉम आई थिंक दैट इज अ डिफरेंट गेम दैट दैट नॉट अ सास दैट नॉट अ सास दैट नॉट अ सास पीपल आर नॉट पुटिंग देयर प्राइवेट डेटा ऑन ऑन देयर राइट एंड ऑल अबाउट क्लाइंट इज आल्सो इमीडिएट हां करेक्ट इसलिए तो डिफरेंट है राइट व्हाट एल्स गाइस और क्या है सो ऐसे से रिलेटेड है एक वी आर टॉकिंग राइट नाउ आई एक्चुअली सेल सर्विसेज डिजिटल मार्केटिंग सर्विसेज बट आई लाइक इट्स माय क्वेश्चन इज मोर रिलेटेड टू सेल्स इट्स नॉट रिलेटेड टू सास आई नीड टू प्रेजेंट अ लॉट आई थिंक इवन इन सास यू नीड टू प्रेजेंट Mm-hmm. a deck or something and every time i get the feedback it's it's not that good mm-hmm. how i'm presenting so usko improve kaise kare like how i present or how i say my <coughs> message how can i practice is it for a uh, ppt or is for the way you are con- uh, you know maybe ppt also lacks something and also me as a person delivering the presentation ओके ओके ठीक है सो किशोर दिस अ वन वेरी गुड वे ऑफ पुटिंग दिस थिंग्स यू नो लाइक व्हाट आई डू आई बेसिकली स्टार्ट विद टू मेजर थिंग ठीक है सबसे पहला व्हेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट एनीथिंग राइट ऑलवेज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड जो सामने वाला आने वाला है वो कौन है क्या करता है कहाँ से आता है क्या कनेक्ट है and i always try to get a single connect single connect right so if i get a chance i'll make sure that kishor ke sath single connect mein nikal raha hu whether your city so i'll find out some my relative from your city or maybe some colleges where you have gone you know or maybe some common connection which we have on linkedin or something like that something which is com- common between you and me right and i'll put this point on a very first conversation right ki baat karte hain hey how is thing going on kishore hey i just noticed that you are from this school i went to school same you know so this gives you comfort to you know trust me because the moment i'll make sh- the, the moment i put it ki ye hamara common hai hamare beech mein you start trusting me right that's that's very mm-hmm. much important that's very very much important you have to make sure that whomever you are going to present in sales you have to make sure that that person trusting you second which i definitely follow that i'll try to you know smile a lot cause when you are you know giving flat face ka whatever talk you wanted to give uh, wo nahi hota but when yeah. you're smiling you know it's definitely going to uh, work more easier way right if i talk about how you can present what you can present what content you need to present that's totally your call you know use canva if you wanted to more attractive ppt you know canva use kar lo aap ppt pe mat banao canva pe banao you know how to use canva yeah actually i had a question related to delivering a talk so Haan. ppt wagera i can figure it out what works Haan. in my new for Right. Sas me kya karega? I can figure it out, but correct. How to practice that? Like delivering presentations. Record yourself. Okay. Record yourself. Put out a camera, mobile camera. Record yourself. The more you record, the more you will listen yourself. The more correction you will do it. Simple. Okay. And for the feedback, I only need to analyze that. Or should you I show? Can, you will get it, man. You will get it. So even right now, I'm watching videos. I know that I have done wrong. What I said wrong. Where I fumbled. Where I said wrong. Where I didn't say wrong. So you are the better judge than like no one else can judge you better than you because you know yourself more than anyone else, right? Okay. You okay, know your okay. capabilities. Okay. 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 Okay.
so we never had a sales person in our team mm-hmm. but now we want to you know explore uh, other uh, customer acquisition channels besides uh, the seo mm-hmm. so um we we are trying to figure out that how do we build the uh, by the way let me just tell you a little more about the product uh, we are an alternative of apollo or nusha that you mentioned our product is gromia organic which is uh, again a linkedin email finder and uh, database enrichment platform but uh, we have personally used this platform ourselves to uh, do the blogger partnership we never actually went ahead and you know sold the product because the ticket size of the product is like uh, 99 dollar a month 199 dollar a month which is similar to you know what apollo had so at the, at that point in time we felt like you know it's not going to work uh, it's not going to be worth it for us if we were selling a product which is you know low ticket 99 dollar a month or 199 dollar a month and um, hence we focused like heavily on seo but now you know we are trying to figure out ways to build a pipeline for our company and we are trying to figure out how can we you know keep a track of the leads that we are getting we have we still have that demo kind of like demo kind of process if someone wants to book a demo, demo call we take them through the demo call but now that you just showed us like how you have a uh, system in place that you send cold emails to generate leads so i wanted to i wanted to like dig a little deeper into that and i wanted to see like how exactly have you built your pipeline how exactly are you uh, getting these people like i wanted to go through the entire entire customer journey that you have built for Trekwon. Okay, okay, Anand. Sure. So, uh, Anand, uh, so, okay, so I guess this is a two-part of question. The one you wanted to understand how I have built the entire uh, workflow uh, for yeah. onboarding, right? And the second, you also wanted to know do you need, what kind of people you need to hire, right? Yes. So, yeah, we want to build, uh, you know, a sales team for our company. So, yeah. that would be the second question. But the first thing is like, you know how exactly have you built your pipeline how does your pipeline look like for treco or you know any other b2b saas company and second mm-hmm. is what kind of cold emails you are sending and for how long are you following up with these guys mm-hmm. uh, uh, are we supposed to keep those emails too short or too long i mean these are the kind of questions that we have at the moment okay so uh, you can Take, all of you can also take notes it's very uh, you know important i have already sh- you know i guess shared somewhere this but yeah so basically what i do uh, i have uh, three way of generating leads so first of all my entire team is very small so uh, though we are a heavy v2b company when i am talking about heavy v2b company that means our uh, clients are manufacturer companies like keshoram companies like chroma uh, uh companies like uh what i say accent sr green panel uh, these companies dream bake winkies uh these kind of manufacturing companies who are heavy manufacturing companies these are our clients right though we don't have too much uh, sales team we are very we are uh, five people of sales team and with this we are doing around uh, 200k to 300k uh, usd uh, revenue right so there's a three major way of doing this. The first, if you see the pipe drive, uh, the first is uh, SEO, right? So whenever anyone search, uh, we come up on top, right? After that, uh, whenever anyone going on tracker.io, right, they can simply fill up the form or we are using a website called uh, Candid. Uh, what what happened in that whenever anyone comes in on our website right we got uh, information we got a lead that this person have visited on our website uh, that person have searched on website but didn't book the demo or didn't fill the form anything right so from that uh, that website that particular solution candid uh, give us a lead so that is the first way of getting leads so whenever whenever anyone coming on our website we get the lead Second, if anyone sign up or maybe book a demo, right? The moment they will book a demo, they will fill this form. A lead will create in our CRM, which is Pipe Drive, and we also get an information on Slack, which is integrated with Pipe Drive. So the moment uh, anyone book a demo, it's get auto lead auto get created. It's auto get assigned to our SDR. 
she made a call she just call that person and do the other screening which qualifies the lead and then a jumps on a call and give a demo that's the second way third if we have to <coughs> outreach that person so there's a two way one is uh, which i mentioned is you know cold emailing via this apollo so i have made multiple industries we uh, uh, sequencing so if you see same based tracking who changed the job short email for tms uh, same based tracking for steel industry ai tms all different kind of you know and in this particular i have made multiple emails so in this particular if you see this this is the first mail which anyone receive uh, this will be the subject line company name delhi mis date yeah right so hey first name are you able to track uh market firing vehicle from gps or something like that right and it's a very short in scripts so you have to do the ab testing for multiple you know you have to see that we, what is working what is not working which i keep tracking so if you see these are all emails which i have deactivated after you know seeing that what is working what is not working so you have to do multiple ab testing to see what's really working what's not really working and the whenever i am done with all of this you know mails and anyone not replied so if you see here in this you can see 927 have delivered and only 406 has been open right rest of mail i will take and i'll put it in a, a bucket list where i'll do a weekly solution uh, update mail blast so basically every week apart from this mail my clients are also getting a update email that this is a new feature is coming up this is something new which tracko is doing this is what tracko is doing with that uh, they are able to understand that what tracko is doing and whenever any features which they required coming in they just simply book the demo and they clo we close the deal and most like last but not the least cold calling is also there so yeah this is how it's happening right so at the moment the majority of leads that are coming to you is to you I'm not wrong. Ah, uh, so it's a mix of you know, cold emailing and SEO both. Like what percentage of uh, leads? Like I would say the qualified leads are coming from SEO. It's very less, you know. Like so, if in every week, ah, uh, we got around ten to twelve leads. Ah, uh, from ten to twelve leads, most of the leads are from cold emailing and this kind of Apollo dot, ah, uh, Apollo ke email se. So it's around if I if I uh, if if I divide it sixty percent coming from Apollo ka cold email and uh, rest are coming from mix of all. Alright, so like in your case, cold email is the biggest channel for you to acquire leads, and these are quality leads, right? Yeah, yeah. But do you think like so? This is what I feel. In your case, the uh, ticket size of the product must be like. really high right yeah yeah so, it is yeah so so do you think it, it would be worth it or what should be the average ticket size of a product uh, to you know for for any company to consider cold email as a channel for uh, you know acquisition so for you you know definitely seo will be the major you know role but I also i'll be you know so companies if you see your competitors you know just like apollo lavender So, if you see the just take example of Lavender, right? Lavender did a influence marketing. It was great use case. So, in a in a Afrin. year, yeah. Will Afrin uh, on LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah. So, in a year, in a year, they picked up because they have you know asked many influencer to write about them. They give a free kind of trial to people who need job or something like that. So that become a very very hit. Kind of solution for them, so yeah. Got it. I mean, for us initially, for like past two years, we have been focusing for on our like top keywords. For example, uh, <coughs> like LinkedIn email extractor. Mm -hmm. So like search for that keyword, we rank maybe on second or third position on Google. Mm -hmm. So in trying to crack these kind of keywords because. uh you know players like lucia polo and these guys have a lot of money to uh you know put put in the google paid ads and when the you know cpc for such keywords are so high it's really difficult to uh you know actually stand beside these companies right with with the ppc so 
So I mean, we just wanted to like get a sustainable acquisition channel in the beginning for, and it took us like a lot of time. Actually, it took us one point five years to mm. rank for this words and like constant focus on very specific keywords like LinkedIn email finder, LinkedIn email extractor, cold email softwares, and you know stuff like that. But yeah, I mean we have we are still you know trying to figure out like is it a good idea for us? We are selling cold email softwares, but we are not doing cold email outreach for our own product because uh, you know it just feels like that it would not be worth uh, putting uh, that much of time and effort I'm, because I'm sure like you since you are doing it every single day you know like what how much effort it, it actually takes to uh, build the the cold outreach system and you know get the person on a call with you so yeah, I mean, besides SEO, do you think is there any any other ac- acquisition channels we can explore? Yeah, there are lots of acquisition channels you can explore. I'm I'm of you know like I'm I'm still amazed that why you guys are not exploring that because you know uh, see there there always a need of this kind of solution. So if you, you do you know about Mister E? Yeah, yeah. I'm so aware. so Nitin is one of my good friend, right? So he was he. He started when no one, you know, knew him. Now he come up with the idea that uh, uh, he wanted to do one crore challenge in ninety days or something like that, right? Now he started his own podcast. So in this sales kind of tool, you have to do something which is, uh, you know, kind of attract uh, eye of other people, right? So whether you are doing a traditional emailing or whatever it is, it's kind of influence marketing so you will not believe it just because of me there are lots of people who use apollo they use you know some kind of this or something something that because i have recommended that right because i have said that in my some of video or maybe some of my posts that this tool is good and then they use it and they they get a test or then like ki haan, hai, yehi sahi hai. so this is what happened so because apollo bhi wahi kaam karega uh and uh, uh wo, lusha bhi wahi kaam karega baaki bhi wahi kaam karega but just because ki maine wo start kar diya to wo start ho gaya wo chalta raha maine maine apollo liya mere wajah se do char logon ne aur apollo liya panch logon ne aur apollo liya and wo continue chala gaya and wo, wo fir wo kisi aur ko reference denge fir wo kisi aur ko reference denge and this will become my entire loop so this is what you have to understand and so every every moment you know it's it's you are losing a lead but as a koi like fixed process nahi hai jo hum log build kar sakte hain i mean i totally agree with with that fact ki influence create karna padega you have to be an influencer somewhere on linkedin mm-hmm. and youtube which we actually did like in a pro for for one for our for our youtube channel mm-hmm. i uh, recorded a two year two hours long um Masterclass on cold email, right? Like I talked about every fucking thing about how to launch your cold email from scratch, and it mm-hmm. got like four five thousand views. But those were like really targeted uh, people. But uh, I want to uh, know that there is a process. Hey, guys, like you are doing it for Traco, you have a process in place, and you can predict the growth, right? You can predict that today we are sending. Sixty uh, cold emails and the closing rate is ten percent. So we should be able to, uh, you know, get a additional revenue of hundred thousand dollar, two hundred thousand dollar, whatever, right? But in our case, if we are relying on influencer marketing or SEO, there is no uh, prediction, right? We cannot predict the you know, next uh, quarter me or next month me what is going to be the revenue. So I was thinking, ki, how do we build that predictable systems system to generate sales? Uh, for and that, are mm-hmm. going to be mediocre. Like these are not going to be as good as the stuff like you know doing the SEO or you know the influencer marketing kind of thing. But I just wanted to make sure that you know something is there, which is constantly grow or I evolve or I like you have that kind of system in your company. True, true. No issue. Yeah, ho sakta. That's definitely going to happen. Everything is possible, right? And it's just the kind of. Uh, I have to understand more your product. I have to understand more your target audience. That where you really wanted to target. You wanted to target India or Middle East, Africa. Which country you wanted to target? Which region you wanted to target? Uh, we can connect one on one, and there I can help you with all those steps and processes. That will be much better. Yeah, definitely. 
I have your WhatsApp number. I'll text you. Sure, sure, definitely, anytime. Where are you guys based out? So we are based out of Bangalore, but you know we have a remote. Thing. Oh, okay. So I was in Bangalore last week. So yeah. <laughs> so at, at the moment I am in Mumbai. Right? Oh, that's cool. Say yeah, go ni. Hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope it was great talking with all of you. You guys also had fun. Ah, 11:00 बज गए. अब सो रहे चलते हैं. Yes, sir. Brother, before we leave, yeah, what was really that nice one challenge guy, uh, Mr. E? Mr. E, yes, Nitin. I did not find. Is it on YouTube or? Ah, uh, can you repeat once again? You are is asking. Is that on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Uh, Nitin, right? Hmm. Nathan is on LinkedIn. He is on YouTube. Got it, Mr. Ree. Yes. Mridul is there. No, not that one. No, no, no. Nathan, Nathan. I'll share the link. Hey, just give me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful. Yes, yes, yes. Amit, I'll put it in a group. Don't worry. I'll put it in a group. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Okay, guys. Good night. Bye, bye. Hope you guys liked it. Yes. Okay, then bye, bye. Thank you. Good night. And if you have any query, feel free to reach out. Right. Hi, Pratik sir. Can okay. we have next session soon? I think I was left with some queries. I didn't get the time. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you have, please, uh, like, uh, I can, I can stay here. If you have anything, like, I didn't ask. I, I really forget to <laughs> ask queries. Yeah, please, please, please go ahead. No issue. So the thing is, like, I am a fresher right now, and uh, we, my first experience with both come here. So mm-hmm. I wanted to ask, like, all I have on my CV is more of legal internships and some sales experience and some certification. Mm-hmm. So wanted to ask you like uh, the way we write our law CV is that we say that we have drafted these agreements, we have worked in these courts, we have. So should I highlight these experiences in my CV or should I mention only uh, my sales experience or my certification while while sending emails? Uh, I'll suggest you know. Uh, so uh, what you are studying? You are studying law, right? Yeah, it's like BBA LLB, business and law. Okay, so just for you, there's a good news. Uh, there there are SaaS companies who are working focused on law, uh, you know, kind of uh, thing, right? So there's the one uh, documentation company also, right? Uh, DocuSign or something like that. These kind of company need people from law. These kind of company need people from you know a uh, uh, good. Uh, BBA kind of uh, LLA kind of uh, background, right? So there you can apply and you can get a chance to work with them, and that's the best way to enter into industry. Whatever you have strong part, use it and go for it. And uh, one thing is like uh, I saw most of the many legal companies are. In their products, me, I don't have confidence in them because the the law firms I have worked with, they have. इनकी कन्विंसिंग करना मे बी आफ्टर लाइक फाइव इयर्स एट इयर्स शायद इनके प्रोडक्ट को ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल हो सकते हैं बट राइट नो आई डोंट फील कि वो उतना कॉन्फिडेंस और इतने प्रोडक्ट्स में है मे बी लाइक आई एम फ्रेशर मैं इस चीज को बहुत ज्यादा मिस जज भी कर सकता हूँ बट अदर थिंग इज लाइक आई वॉज टारगेटिंग की जिसमें बताया कि मोर ऑफ कमीशन बेस्ड जॉब कि वो अगर क्योंकि ज्यादातर जितनी भी ये जॉब्स है इनकी इतना कमीशन नहीं दे रही है ये फिक्स सैलरीज पर रखनी है तो अब मैं दूसरी इंडस्ट्रीज ट्राई कर रहा था तो उनके लिए मुझे मतलब मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ सी और जो भी दूसरे इंडस्ट्रीज होते हैं ना वहाँ पे मोस्टली uh, क्योंकि uh, वो या तो एक्सपीरियंस के साथ जाना चाहेंगे स्पेशली अगर सैस सेल्स में अगर आप आना चाहते हो अगर आज एज अ फ्रेशर आप जाना चाहते हो तो कमीशन आपके पास ना के हिसाब से ही रहेगा दैट विल बी फिक्स काइंड ऑफ जॉब क्योंकि कमीशन तब मिलेगा वेन यू आर परफॉर्मिंग वेल है राइट जब आपके पास कोई पूरा ये रहेगा बना हुआ रहेगा कि आपने रोड मैप पूरा ना लाइफ में क्या किया हुआ है या आपने जर्नी आपकी कैसे रही है सो एज आ अगर मैं जाके <laughs> मैं जाके किसी को बोलूंगा कि आई नीड थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ कमीशन इन एवरी सेल्स एंड दिस इज माई सैलरी स्ट्रक्चर सो दे विल एक्सेप्ट इट 
क्योंकि उनको पता है कि मैंने क्या किया हुआ है पास्ट में और क्या कर सकता हूँ राइट बट एज अ फ्रेशर इफ यू गो एंड आस कैन ही ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इंसेंटिव और समथिंग लाइक दैट देन आर गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट क्योंकि उनके पास आपका प्रीवियस जर्नी रिकॉर्ड नहीं है सो दैट्स अ बिगर चैलेंज बट अगैन देर आर कंपनीज वे यू कैन फाइंड इट आउट कि क्या हो सकता है क्या नहीं हो सकता है आई सजेस्ट यू टू ट्राइंग टू सी आर एम्स कंपनी बी टू बी ई आर पी कंपनीज टी एम एस कंपनीज राइट वेयर हाउस मैनेजमेंट सोल्यूशन क्योंकि ये बहुत बड़े बड़े कंपनी सॉफ्टवेयर होते हैं जैसे ट्रैक हो है ये टी एम एस है ये बहुत बड़ा इसका टिकट साइज भी बड़ा होता है सो so, इनके टिकट साइज बड़े होने की वजह से मार्जिन बड़ा होता है मार्जिन बड़े होने की वजह से ये आपको शेयर दे सकते हैं या परसेंटेज दे सकते हैं या इंसेंटिव दे सकते हैं लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन एक मतलब लाइक आई वाज सर्चिंग सम ऑफ द जॉब्स लाइक दे सेड दैट द मिनिमम लाइक थिंग्स यू शुड हैव स्किल्ड इज दैट यू शुड बी स्किल्ड इन एमएस एक्सेल एमएस वर्ड एंड एवरीथिंग बट कुछ चीजें मैं देख रहा था वो आपसे एसक्यूएल में मांगते हैं सो शुड आई गो इनटू लर्निंग एसक्यूएल और इज इट लाइक मतलब इट इन्वॉल्व्स कोडिंग आई कैन डू दैट बट लाइक शुड आई गो फॉर दैट लाइक व्हाट डू यू सजेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एसक्यूएल एसक्यूएल आप समझ लो कि वो क्या मांगना चाह रहे हैं क्या वो कोडिंग वाला मांगना चाह रहे हैं वो या आपसे सेल्स क्वालिफाइड लीड मांगना चाह रहे हैं सेल्स में स्केल का मतलब सेल्स क्वालिफाइड लीड होता है मार्केटिंग की तरफ से एक लीड आई हुई होती है जो लीड मार्केटिंग जनरेट कर देती है बट सेल्स वाला उसको क्वालिफाई करता है देखता है कि क्या वो सच में सेल्स के लिए क्वालिफाइड है या नहीं एंड देन उसको एस कहते हैं थिंग इज की मैंने एक उसमें देखा था द वे दे हैव रिटर्न इज लाइक इन दे हैव रिटर्न लाइक प्रोस्पेक्टिंग एंड एस क्यू एल मतलब तो प्रोस्पेक्टिंग एंड ऑल में वो वही आता है सेल्स क्वालिफाइड लीड्स नहीं नहीं प्रोस्पेक्टिंग में नहीं था वो वो एक्सेल के स्लैश में डेटा और फिर एस क्यू एल था तब वो वो होगा तब वो वो होगा तब वो वो होगा बट मैंने आज तक की भी किसी भी सेल्स वाले जॉब के लिए एसक्यूल सीखने के लिए तो मैंने आज तक सुना नहीं है बट माइट बी आप देख लेना माई ब्रदर इज एन इंजीनियर सो आई वॉज टॉकिंग he said ki like it is good to as an engineer he would suggest that you should learn SQL you should develop logic this or that so the way he was telling is like as a sales person you will be dealing a lot of data and like you will have to um, you will be making presentation so you should know how to do SQL nahi yaar itna bhi data nahi hota hai analysis to alag hote hain uske liye sales wale ka kaam bechna hai <laughs> may be theek hai ho sakta hai i don't know matlab teams matlab uh, companies ke alag alag requirement ho sakti hai structure pe bhi depend karta hai ha may be and last question is like should i uh, prioritize because most of the jobs hai wo unke hi more teams hai so should i prioritize like matlab uh, experience or uh, learning point of view se bhi or work culture wagaira ke point of view se should i prioritize uh, more of or target more of in office roles or like work from definitely office? you should you should i am fan of work from office culture theek hai especially kyunki kya hota hai ki when you are fresher and you are doing work from home You are pulling yourself back क्योंकि एक तो आप सीख नहीं पाओगे दूसरा अगर आप परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाओगे तो आप ये नहीं दिखा पाओगे कि कितना हार्डवर्क आप कर रहे हो ठीक है एटलीस्ट आपको ये तो दिखाना पड़ेगा ना कि आप हार्डवर्क कर रहे हो परफॉर्म नहीं कर पा रहे हो तो और जो कॉमन है कि फ्रेशर आप परफॉर्म नहीं कर पाओगे पहले तीन महीने छः महीने पर आपका हार्डवर्क तो दिखना चाहिए लोगों को वो कैसे दिखाओगे आप घर में रह के सो दैट्स वाई आई ऑलवेज फील कि या तो सीखना है या हार्डवर्क भी दिखाना है या लोगों से भी सीखना है तो वर्क फ्रॉम ऑफिस इज बेस्ट वो आपको लेना ही पड़ेगा वर्क फ्रॉम होम ऑफिस अब वर्क फ्रॉम ऑफिस नहीं लेना है तो एटलीस्ट हाइब्रिड ले लो पर यस फुल्ली रिमोट मत लो आप बट थैंक यू सो मच लाइक डेडिकेटिंग सो मच टाइम एंड रियली अ प्लेजर टॉक विद यू सेम योर गाइस चलो गुड नाइट थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग टेक केयर एंड बेस्ट विशेष